All right, so back to this. Yeah, it's going. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say other than it's time. You know, I've been talking about this for quite some time now uh, for these past few videos, and it's been in the works for quite some time. But yeah, you know, it's finally happening right after, what is it, uh, about three, maybe even four years. L let me look at it. Let me actually look at the other playlist. But yeah, I guess while I'm pulling that up, in case you didn't know, right, you know, uh, I played this mod a while ago. It's, uh, when it's <laughs> what I've considered my favorite mod pretty much since. Um, so yeah, and I've... Again, I, I already replayed through a brand new day and I've toyed with the idea of replaying through this. Uh, well, wait, is, oh yeah, here's a playlist, right? Last update, January 6, 2019. So I started it summer 2018. So that was four years ago, closing in on four years ago, finished it about three and a half years ago, right? Um, yeah, funny enough, I, I finished, uh, I stopped it in the summer right at about the time where it transitioned to act two, but again, it, it's something to where it's like, again, so yeah. And especially now, now that the Civ game is done right again, you know, it, it technically wasn't finished or complete, but it was very clear that I wasn't going to win. So I just stopped and I got all those parts uploaded, but yeah, you know, uh, What's it called? Right with me finishing the finale esque mods again. I was surprised because both mods took a combined total of what 10 days, 10 days. So 10 parts combined without, you know, doubling up. So just singles. So they're much quicker than they thought. But now those are done right again. This is kind of the last thing I can do or have to do, like regarding DDLC. I mean, what's it called? I have other mods, you know, on the list, but the issue being those mods aren't, um, Again, they're all just normal, like, VN mods. That's why I didn't play them, right? So, because I just think, you know, there's no point in, like, playing mods like that, right? Uh, you know, because it kind of defeats the whole purpose. Just play, like, a normal VN, right? Like, don't even bother, like, trying to do it in this format. But I guess the closest I ever got for that was Longer Roads, which, to be fair, is one of my favorites. So, it's like, um, yeah, so maybe that's saying something. But, again, didn't want to bother recording that. So, and then speaking of favorites, right, again, so I figured... I'd already done the brand new day replay through. So I figured, you know, it was about time we do the new eyes replay through, right? I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough time to do it this summer, but I'm glad, you know, I am right. So definitely something to where it's like, again, you know, I've been looking at this for a while and again, I'm considering my favorite mods. So, you know, and honestly, I don't even want to play through the act two portion or the second part. I just want to play through the act one is right. Again, it's just, it's so good. Cause I really do think, right. You know, cause what was it? Because mm. Rain Clouds released first, right? And that was obviously the Sayori version, um, which I think was, it was good, right? I don't want to say it was amazing. It wasn't like the absolute best, right? But it was something to where it, it was that for the time, right? But it, it kind of set the standard, you know, set the bar for like these POV mods. I think Behind Closed, I think Behind Closed Doors, it, it was, Behind Closed Doors was weird. Because I think one, Behind Closed Doors, one was better in it. I, I don't, I didn't like two as much. I think that was beneath it. I never played three or four and then it all got taken down by uh, the mod developer. So our uh, mod career. So again, right there, there'd just be no, maybe I go back and replay through that. Who knows? Um, and I'd only re be replaying through what the first shoot. I'm not even sure I have that mod anymore. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm legit not sure if I even have it anymore. Right. I guess that's the issue there. Cause on the old computer, I had uh, the first two parts, right. Um, but on this one, yeah, I'm not sure. So might not even be able to play it, but who knows, right? Again, technically I could, I found the third part somewhere, but fourth part couldn't find it, right? And again, something to where like, again, it'd be like as exit music redux, like it could play, but it's just a remake, right? You know, and I didn't like the original anyway. And again, behind closed doors more so do to like the mod career and developers wishes. So it's like, like, if they don't want, you know, well, if I could find the fourth part, honestly, I'd probably end up playing it, hate to say it, but, like, if it's only the third part, it's there, we're saying, way. but, yeah, for this, right, again, you know, I feel like it's only appropriate that I end off with, again, I didn't end off with a brand new day, right, because, or, well, technically, I did for the winter, but that was because I didn't know if I'd be able to record during the summer, so, again, I wanted to get that out of the way, so I didn't even bother with the finale, or these, 
this mod right because they didn't i also didn't know how long they would take but it, it's something where i, I want to ensure i get a brand new day because that was the actual first mod i played outside of mas uh but yeah now that again i know i was able to record during the summer that i am you know i feel like it's only appropriate that i go back and play through this so that's kind of the background who knows maybe depending on but oh yeah i already adjusted the settings the settings look weird but you know, we're, we're not here for the fucking, you know, visuals, right? We're here for the story and pun. The visuals are still nice. Don't get me wrong, but, or I guess, you know, the graphics or whatnot, right? Because it's still a good background. I like what they did with this. Because I think rain clouds, it was, well, I guess I need to download and pop it up. You know, I think it was just basically the same exact thing, right? But I like how they changed this. And then they also took out a year. So it's literally like, you know, we're seeing uh, through her POV, right? Even implying that now. So, but again, it's all something where it's like, so I guess... And then just kind of wrap it up before I start. Since I started Omori, it's looking like it's going to take, you know, since it's like a whole ass RPG longer than I think. So I don't even think we'd have time to play it brand new or uh, behind closed doors anyway. If anything, right, you know, what's it called? I do maybe an RCIP game, but who knows? You know, we'll see, right? I'll make that decision, you know, as it comes, right? I don't have like, you know, a set thing or a set like list of what I want to do, right? It's just like, again, you know, just stuff that I kind of want to, right? Again, since I've got the actual story, like basically since I've actually completed my mods list, outside of the visual novel, just standard like visual novel ones, which I don't see a point of recording anyway. Again, but anyway, I was thinking of doing it longer road to play through, but there'd literally be zero point because we wouldn't even fucking finish it by then. That's how long it is. But moving on, right? Again, I will say the one thing I remember about this mod more than anything else is the other character. I think it was like Hanako or something, right? The, the other character who had like the burned half of their face, like, like two face. Right, looking like a two face. I remember they come up at some point. They're like a legit anime character, and they just pop up for like out of nowhere for zero reason. It was apparently created. Apparently, I think in like the lore or like what it implied was that was created by Manka. But anyway, honestly, and then just to top it off, you know, <laughs> actually before I get into it, I'm not sure I'm gonna play through the Act Two of this. You know, I just it's mainly the Act One that I'm here for, right? I don't care about the Act Two, so who knows? I guess we'll see, right? I guess it depends on how it's looking like you know omori's coming along and if i need to put more time into that to actually finish it so at least in terms of that right yeah and we can't uh what's this auto save we're not auto saving here we don't do that uh yeah that's why mc's revenge gave me such a headache so yeah anyway so one through nine we have these saves right again let's do uh what's his name so uh, i'm not even gonna do my name let's just do mc right because we're playing through there's no point in naming it us right if it's not even through our pov so his name's MC, right? And they, you still have all, all these at the bottom, right? So, huh? Birds. Bitch, where are we? In the fucking park? I can hear them, but I'm not sure if I'm still dreaming or not. Bitch, can we speed this text up, please? Yeah, I'm like, come on. There we go. Everything feels so warm. Wait, birds? Is that our room? My ringtone? If this is Yuri's ringtone, that shit's not going to wake you up. I mean, you, you don't want, like, the sound of birds as your ring. I mean, come on. That, there's zero chance. Like, that's, like, literally, like, white noise that you would fall asleep to. Like, you're zero chance you're making that your ringtone. Like, for ringtones, right, you know, it's it's fairly standard, right? You know, you don't really want songs as ringtones because then they'll just destroy the experience of the song. Like, you know, like, every time you hear it, you'll just, like, you jump, Right. You want, honestly, literally just the default ringtone, right? You know, if you have trouble sleeping through that, right, or if you have issues regarding that, you know, get like an actual fucking alarm clock, you know, that'll work and that'll force you to get up to turn it off. That's the big thing that you can't just lean over and shut off and then just get some extra shut eye, right? Don't, and don't be the person who's like fucking like setting like 20 alarms and then snooze through all of them. I had a roommate like that. It was such a pain in the ass. Like, I just don't understand. You know, there, there's some things like I'd set like multiple alarms, but that'd be in case I'd sleep through. I wouldn't just like snooze them. Right. And it's just, I don't know. It's, I, I just don't get, I, I don't get it. Right. Like there are going to be some people who are like, Oh yeah, that's me. Right. So quirky. It's like, why aren't you, why are you the way that you are? I don't know. It's just, but yeah, where, where am I going with this? Why would anyone call me this early, especially on a school morning? Oh, ringtone. So it's not an alarm. It's a, um, ringtone for their fucking uh, phone right i stretch my bed and reach for my cell phone oh yeah that's a bad idea like for example like okay we can't get rid of this box right click just leads us to here what i do in your situation because she has her bed set up like this 
you know, put your, put it on your desk, like in the front of your desk, like next to like, you know, the pencil and like paper holders. That way you literally have to get up to go. Uh, she, she does have her bed in the corner, which is the right move, but she's also got right next to the fucking curtains and drapes. So like she's getting that, you know, burst of sunlight in the morning. So it's like, uh, you know, that blast of sunlight. So mom, okay. Oh yeah. I forgot. Oh my God. I forgot a whole subplot of this mod was, you know, her speaking with her mom and her mom coming over because like her dad's, you know, like basically went MIA, right? That's that's literally, you know, what happened. So can't help but smile. I've been waiting for her to call me for so long. Well, bitch, you better pick it up. Like, goddamn. Hello, mom. And again, uh, uh, God, I love this scene so much. Another thing that's so great about this mod is like the custom like music and like custom like, you know, what's it called? Like artwork and then like... uh artwork as well as backgrounds you know one thing it's definitely something that lifts the mod again it's it's not like a make or break right like again i literally had like the whole like maslow's hierarchy of needs period pyramids but for like mods right the, the first thing is you know an actual original creative idea don't just do a fucking uh oh you know just you know a normal like mod that's like already been done the second is like you know consistency and continuity and story and plot like shit that happens actually that's you know, the big issue I had with, uh, uh, what would you call it? We are the literature club, right? Shit would happen that just didn't make sense. Like, like Natsuki's section of that mod was just so contrived. And, like, not having things be contrived and actually having, like, consistency and continuity throughout both the story and plots, so, like, events as well as, you know, character, like, interactions, right? So stuff that makes sense and that actually, you know, leads and builds up towards something. So, and then again, third story, right? Having an interesting story. So that'd be, like, again sequence of events type stuff you know like timeline uh fourth and like is it's very it's very similar like plot right that's what i put you know plot basically like you know character arcs and that or in interactions then like like entire character arcs like from start to finish right so what and then fifth only at the very top right the smallest portions like you know aesthetics like basically like feels good stuff like this is not of a good ending you know uh neither of these mods do right neither is new eyes or rain clouds but also you know stuff like custom music custom like background custom interactions right i literally talk about that my what constitutes a good mod video again because it's something to where it's like and then yeah this mod is the only mod that basically checks all of the blocks right that's why it's i liked it so much again it has you original creative idea you know pov through yuri so you already already been done so there's less incentive like if i, I played through rain clouds what point would i have been playing through another Sayori mod so there's that right the second again story consistency and continuity that happens here you know the only thing is like act two but like honestly just this mod like without act two is good enough like i'm probably not even gonna play act two again story you know the story like the sequence of events which we see right and also like with you know her interactions with the mc you know monica right through like you know visions or whatnot right and then also like again you know timeline timeline works out right and then again, plot, you know, like character interactions, right? And then also uh, arcs, right? So we see her interactions, as I said, right? Um, but then also, again, her arc, again, it was like a parabola on this mod, right? As opposed to rain clouds where Sayori just stayed at the bottom and then was at the bomb and then just fucking stayed there. Like it starts out on a bad note versus this mod starts out on a good note, which again, I feel like is better because we can see the change in Yuri's character as opposed to rain clouds or Sayori just stayed depressed the entire time, right? It wasn't like a change, right? But and then again, the aesthetics are here where we have this nice music and again, this nice uh, background. So and art, Yuri, anyway, we gotta get to the mods, it's been 15 minutes, right? And we, we're like five lines in. How are you doing, sweetheart? Everything's fine. How about you still traveling? With two L's, bitch, how is there all race? Did I not catch this last time traveling with two L's? Yeah, work's been crazy lately. there. Barely had any time to rest. She traveling where? Home? I want to call you as soon as I have a few moments to spare. Bitch, literal moments. You should rest some more. You're slowly worsening your own health, you know? I mean, it, it's, again, getting in this conversation again, you know, it's, what's it called? It's, uh, you know, cost-benefit analysis. Like, you can worsen your health in the short term, right? You know, but, like, if it earns you money and secures long-term, like, prosperity, you know, it's a thing, right? That's why, like, uh, what's it called? Uh again it's just you know you need to choose right and that's that's up to you right again like if and especially you know if you know you're uh let's say like let's say your family is like what's it called uh well if your family is shitty genes right then you're not gonna live long anyway but or at least not live like super long into retirement if you retire 
Uh, but if you have like good genes, right, and you know, you're going to live a while or something. Um, and, you know, let's say you don't want that to happen, you know, maybe, do I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just saying again, it all kind of depends on what you want, right? You know, like there is valid reason to do this. It's not always like, oh, you shouldn't ever worsen your health. You, you shouldn't ever prioritize work above like, you know, stuff like your family. Again, it comes down to, you know, that, that's very idealistic, I, I should say. It comes down to, you know, like what's best for like you, right, for that situation. Enough about me. I have a little surprise to you. Surprise, what do you mean? Your birthday's coming up next week and we haven't seen each other in so long. Damn, yours birthday is during the week, like school week. We be coming home. I will. And barely contain my excitement. And again, dad's nowhere to be found. It's been three months. Damn. So yeah, three months since, uh, so that'd be what, in like summer? Three months without seeing my mother. And she's coming home this weekend. Are you all right, Erie? Yes. Thank you so much. Of course. I'll never miss your birthday. Doesn't she actually end up missing it during the mod? I'm pretty sure the last day is, what's it called? Uh, I'm pretty sure the day everything resets is actually her birthday. So, so to keep my happiness all in myself. This is about the best birthday gift I could have ever received. I think you have to go to school now, right? I'll get back to work. See you on Sunday. So yeah, Sunday. So wait, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. So hold on. That's because that's uh, the day the MC meets with uh, Sayori. So we see that in rain clouds because Saturday is the day that Yuri and Sayori meet up and then they go like just to whatever other fucking town, right? But um, <clears throat> I don't think this ever happens though. I don't recall, right? Oh, she hung up. Damn, got your ass. I gently put my phone in the bed. Gently. Mom's coming home. Softly left. I can't wait. Grab my uniform from the closet and glance over the clock. Still some time left before I have to head out. Okay, so she woke you up anyway. Quickly get dressed and head for her living room. And again, this is the old, uh, okay, I keep forgetting. Right click does this, right? Seems it's really nice out today. You can already tell I'm going to enjoy my walk. Walk to school, right? Take some eggs from the fridge and turn on the stove. I have to taste better eggs in the morning. That's it, like low key, like it's pretty good. Doesn't she just like stop eating like halfway through the mod? Like, yeah, like low key, like eggs are actually like a superfood. <laughs> like, that's why it's like, I don't think I could ever go, what would you call it? Uh, vegan. I could probably do vegetarian, but I don't think I could ever go vegan because just giving up like eggs and stuff like that, right? It's like, and then like, you know, dairy. Like, I just, I don't think I'd be, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. It's just not in me, you know? So. Again, I, I could probably, I, I could barely do vegetarian, but I need like actual, like, like I'll need actual like time to like prep meals and stuff, but vegan, I don't think I'd be able to try. I'm in the literature club now. Th that's right. It means I should bring a book to read. Bitch, we know she's got plenty. Walk over to my bookshelf. It's so full. You should eventually sell some of these. That's not too bad of an idea. You probably make money. Grab an old book from the top shelf. Perfect. Smell something coming from the kitchen. No way it's burning. Oh God. Hurry over to the stove. I'd completely forgotten bitch eat them like if it's not burnt right you know i throw because here's the thing right like you can overcook eggs but still eat them like they're still edible it's not like you know if you overcook them it's they're just inedible and unless you're you know that fucking like you know you're like oh i need them done perfectly but like so long as they're not like actually like burnt like they're like it's not like fucking like if you overcook toast and it's burnt you're not gonna fucking eat that shit right but like eggs or something right you know they can be overcooked and you still eat them i wasn't really that hungry anyway I actually used to like, what's it called? I, I'd actually like overcook my eggs. So they're like more firm, but like soft eggs are like, like they're better. It's just the harder to like make. So I'm, I'm just lazy. And I use like seasoning, like hot sauce, stuff like that anyway. But it's like, like you can still eat them if they're overcooked, right? Careful place to book in my school bag. Or don't just fucking eat them raw either, but can't see the argos too. And guy, mm, I turn on my phone. Look at the picture I took of Monica Sior Nazi. They're the best people I've met. I shake my head. Bitch, the only, like, uh, well, not better than mom, but again, like, at least out of friends, right? I'm lost in my own thoughts again. I'll end up being late if I keep wasting time. Throw on a coat and head outside. Bitch, how cold is it? And yeah, so this is, so this is, funny enough, this is Yuri's house. I was about to say, wait, is that new music? It is. This is Yuri's house in um, this mod. This is Natsuki's house in True Route. I'm pretty sure this was Monica's house at some point in some mod as well. So we see this house has been literally everyone's. It's real peaceful around here. I just love the scenery. Okay, you're going to get going to what? We're going to be late. I lock my door and I start walking down the street towards school. I take slow and deep breaths as I make my walk down the street. Everyone around me is happily cheering amongst themselves and wishing, get, wishfully gazing at the cherry trees. Makes me smile. I see all of them enjoying their time here. Suddenly, I see a familiar figure in the disc in, distance. Oh, my God, Natsuki. I forgot, you know. Also, one of the a big, another big subplot that I really enjoy and like about this mod. Because, like, subplots right this was one of my big issues with relapse they had so many subplots that just didn't even make any fucking sense 
Like, and they just never really capitalized on either. It's actually hilarious. So again, but this mod does it right. You know, the whole subplot with like her mother and then the subplot with like her and then like Natsuki being friends and stuff like that, as well as her and Sayori, you know, on that trip. Like this mod again, it's just so good. It really is. So people turn and give me, bitch, she didn't, she didn't even say that. It, oh, why are we all the way up here? She didn't even say the damn, like the entire name. So I might just pick up my pace and walk towards from the figure. Natsuki, hi. Oh, you're, you're out early today. Seems like you are too, though. Of course, the Avalanche Club made me excited to say, too excited to stay home any longer. She's like, bitch, I gotta get out of there. So it's weird to see Natsuki so interested in the Lurch Club. Because we know it's her place of escape, right? She only reads manga. Bitch, peasant, peon, only reads, you know, picture books. Now that bothered me, of course, but I still don't find manga to be adequate literature. Bitch, I barely even fucking read outside of what's required. Like, why don't we walk to school together? That's better than me, right? Skibulously looks around to all of our surrounds like she doesn't have a care in the world. We both love nature, so we always end up staying a little too long in the empty streets, looking at the trees. Turn my head to see not scaring at me. Well, I mean, we live in what? An urban area, clearly, so there's not much nature to be around. It's just, you know, whatever plants and bushes, right? Is something wrong? Well, it looks like you're in a good mood today. Is there any particular reason? Oh, that's right. She's like, oh, sure. And again, they're good friends. I, I really like this mod's take and portrayal on this. But they're calling me this morning. She'll be visiting me this weekend. That's great news. Do you think I'd come by and say hi? No. She's like, bitch, of course you're welcome, right? I haven't seen her so long. And again, they know each other, right? So they've literally been friends for however long before the club, right? I'll let you know when you can drop by again. I really love, like, how this, this mod's take on this. It's funny enough, her and, like, Natsuki, like, their, like, interactions, they're, along with, you know, the weekend with Sayori, they're one of the things I like most about this mod, right? Again, it's, like, it's definitely, it's something to where it's, like, a yeah, again, like the, the mod does so, this mod does such a good job. Like, again, proof pretty much, I feel like this isn't like the epitome, you know, like epitome of like perfect, like, you know, DLC mods. Like, it, it's really hard to top this, right? So, thank you. Bitch, slide off the fucking screen. Soon enough, the interest of school becomes visible to us. Both make our way to the main courtyard. And we're here, you know, this fucking background's been used so many times. I'll get going, class starting soon. I'll see you later. Of course, have a good day. You too. And then fine enough, we never actually miss classes. In Sayori's, in Rain Cloud, Sayori missed class every day, but Yuri always makes the class, right? So as I begin walking towards mine, it's a shame Natsuki and I are in the same class. I really know anyone of mine. I find myself to be slightly uncomfortable. Bitch, when the teacher's like, okay, pair up with someone, and you don't get fucking paired up, right? So, well, I guess apparently at the desk right next to each other, but everyone's already getting ready to work. I say my desk, take notebook out of my back. Flip through it, scan through some of the poems I've written over the last few weeks. It's not right to be writing poems instead of paying attention in class, but I can't simply ignore my passions like that. I mean, you can't ignore class like that. Also, I look at look at the clock. There's no arms. Let's get to work. And then, end of the day, the sun's still shining. God, maybe I shouldn't have brought a coat. Yeah, why the fuck did you bring? Huh? I look around me. Everyone's gone. Bitch, it's like, where did I space out? I look at the clock. Class had been over for 30 minutes. Bitch, I wish school went by that quickly. Well, I guess not. I'm a fucking grad. I can't say that. But yeah, from my chair and I pack up the long. You see, ours may be already waiting for me. It's like, and we're here. That's a bit odd. The girls are usually talking and oddly having fun. Suddenly I feel a little tap in my waist. What are you doing, you dummy? I've been searching for you everywhere. I think I spaced out during my class. Always the same, huh? This can't really change that about you after all. I mean, you got to do classwork, right? You can do poems on your own time. Like, you don't need to do homework. At least do classwork in class, right? Because you can always find a way, you know, to get homework done during, like, lunch or, like, before school, right? Again, something to where it's, like, you know, what's it called like at the very least you gotta do the work in class right you know i hate to say it right you know you gotta like pay attention in class and do the work like if you really want to again just say you know fuck homework do it like the day or like the morning of or like during like lunch or something like i knew people who would do that like they'd go actually use that those and then any sort of like stay hall or free period they had to actually do that shit right because that's something to where it's like again you know at least in terms of that, right? It's like, uh, yeah, you know, because they do that. And then, like, they just don't do anything or do whatever they want to, you know, during the night, right? So it's like, me, I could never do that. For me, I was just someone who, I wanted to enjoy that time. And then also, again, with athletics, right? It was already going deep into, the, like, the night anyway. So I would have, like, school, you know, I'd chill out, you know, during, like, my free time at school, you know. Then I do my athletics, right? And then after, like, it end about at about dinner. So I'd almost always have like dinner after that, and then just do whatever homework. And then I usually wrap up, and then I'd like chill for a bit and then go to sleep, right? So it was actually like, and then the weekends is where I'd because I wouldn't really have that much homework over the weekend. So I'd do it honestly, mostly 
I'm funny enough, I'd actually get all, most of my weekend homework done like Friday night. And then I'd have basically Saturday, Sunday off. So for me, it was pretty much like Monday through Friday, I'd be like working, right? I Again, I just chill during school, like during my free time at school. And then Saturday, Sunday, I'd also chill as well. But, you know, that's just me, right? But is she here already? That's weird. She's always the first one. No, you can't seem to find a Wait, hold on. I wasn't uh, paying attention. Who would she talk about? Yo, oh, it starts. That's annoying that it starts at the stop, top. Okay, so you are. So besides some, you know, inefficient like functions, you know, let's go and relax for a bit. Like, yeah, why does it start at the top? Yeah, I have no idea why. A bit worried about Sayori, though. It's unusual for her to be late to a club. Bitch, she's probably just got some shit to do. If it's a one-off, it's if, if it's one-off time, right? So, so we are working my mocos, looking out the window. Turns around to greet us. Oh, Yuri, hello. I was worried you were a bit late. Oh, she was lost in her thoughts as usual. Don't worry. And again, it's just us, well, three now, but again, four, including Sayori. So the MC, or so, is this the day Sayori brings the MC? I'm actually pretty sure that's the case. I'm pretty sure, oh, what's it called? She comes in with the MC, right? Um, that's what that's about. So I'm more worried about Sayori there. I couldn't find her anywhere. Is that so? That's weird. I think I saw her in the secondary building, but I'm not too sure. She's getting the fucking MC, right? Why would she leave our building? I don't know. Most likely go see MC, I believe. His class are usually so... Yuri already knows about him, right? Yuri already knows about the MC, right? She said she'd try and make him join the club. So Yuri keeps talking about childhood friends, but I've never met him. Or just individual, right? I wonder what type of person he is. Bitch, who fucking knows? Oh, so that's why. Well, then no need to worry. Let's all fun and wait for Sayori and her friend. By the way, what is it? Make cupcakes. I told you, yeah, so it is literally the day he shows up. Told you I'd make some yesterday. So I spent my er evening slaving away to produce these delicious treats. Well, damn, that sounds like a you problem. That's around the room until I spot a tray one of the desk. How'd you get them in here? Now that I think about it, the room does have a slightly different scent to it. Oh, so you really made them. Let's wait for Sayori before we eat them, all right? All right. Let's see, I put my bag near a chair and I say our table. I guess I could kill some time and read for a while. Take the book I picked this morning out of the bag. I've already read it a few times, but I suppose that doesn't really matter. After all, you only start to really appreciate a story after reading through it a few times. I, bitch, I read it one and done. I read it once. Maybe I look something up online and get some, like, more, like, I guess, uh, insight. But I'm one and done, right? I'm not reading stories multiple. Well, I guess I'm playing this mod a second time, but it, that's kind of different, right? It, it's different. But a story, you know, one and done, right? For opening the book, I glance at Nazi. She's already looking through a class. She She's probably looking through her manga to read. Bitch, we can see the chair. Start reading the instruction. I hear a classroom door open. I jerk my head. See, you're followed by another person. Damn, I wonder who it is. Presumably MC. Yeah, it's like, bitch, who else will it be? Everyone, the new member is here. Bitch, he's like, I told you, don't call me a new member. He's like, I swear to God, if you call... Where, where's... I swear to God, where's the eyes always red? They weren't always red. Like, if I look up DDLC rain clouds, I'm probably going to get the... um. Hold on. Like, DDLC rain clouds... If I look up uh, images, right, it's, I swear to God, his eyes, yeah, so images, yeah, his eyes are brown in rain clouds. Wait, why? I saw a version of rain clouds with the fucking Chad MC, but yeah, his eyes are brown in rain clouds, so that's why I was like, I swear to God, his eyes weren't always red, and I'm pretty sure Wallace has fucking, from fucking the festival, that fucking mod, and that was a good mod, though, not gonna lie, that, that was a good mod, though, like, not, not even, like, you know, not even gonna lie there, but again right fucking what's it called a uh, bitch uh, look at the god i fucking hate that mc model so much like he's this dude like he's like the most like punchable person in existence right but I, I like the chat mc a lot more the fucking alpha like chat mc like it's actually nice like you, you got the hands it, it's like fucking squidward in the one like spongebob episode you have the normal then you have the hands and they're like super fucking it's actually funny but Again, so again, he had brown eyes in that one. I don't know why they changed him to run this. I guess they just did it for shits and giggles, right? The dude is his tie isn't even come on, man. Because well, see so always, but that's just her fucking clothing, right? In her style, the fact that it doesn't fit, she just doesn't care, right? Just because she's disgruntled. I mean, at least he's got like buttoned up. But you, come on, cinch up your tie, my guy. He went. I thought she was overdoing it, but overdoing what? Bitch, his looks. You're because he hasn't said anything yet. It just sense a great aura. Bitch, what the fuck? She's like fucking uh, magic, you know, magician. Bitch, it's like, yeah, this is like the equivalent of like fucking vibes. Like motherfuckers will be like, I don't vibe with you. And it's like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? That's like what this is. It's like, I sense a great aura. It's like fucking like horoscope type shit. Step four to greet him. Welcome to Lynch Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. And she actually says this, right? So he always, always says nice things about you. Seriously, you broad boy. Why are you killing the atmosphere? Bitch, did you not fucking, because we, we said this earlier, right? 
It's obvious. Now she's embarrassed by MC's presence. It's like, what a childish. She knew the situation was coming, though. I feel, I too feel slightly uncomfortable. Something, bitch, here's the thing. This is what I've been saying, right? You'd be infinitely more com- uncomfortable in his situation because he even says that he's like, this club, this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Like, literally, that's like, in, in his situation, you know, just think about his situation, right? It's like, he's like, sh- he steps through a door. He's like, oh, no, what I get myself into. You know, the ratio four to one, honestly, three to one, like three to one's bad enough. Four to one, I mean, come on, right? Like if it was like fucking like, again, the festival is like Wallace. Like, okay, that's a different story because there's two, but then it gets competitive, right? A nice surprise. Welcome to the club. MC is a bewildered look on his face. I don't know what he's expecting by coming here, but it certainly was us. He's like, oh, no. He shyly smiles at us. He's like, I feel a little dumb just staying here. Bitch, teleportation? I see on the nearest chair. MC's gaze locked on Natsuki. That was to make her more uneasy. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, Natsuki. She always me in these situations. Yeah, bitch, look at look at the fucking size difference here. I'm seeing fucking pummel her. Although it doesn't seem like she hates. Bitch, he literally just got here like a minute ago. Like, how can you already hate someone? I quietly sat in my How much I keep telling her to stay calm. She just keeps acting this way. She said, I can't really change that about you. So you're always for something that MC's here. He looks disappointed. What'd she tell him? She's like, anyways, this Natsuki, always full of energy. And this year he's smartest in the club. Puts her finger at me with a big smile on her face. Not really that smart, actually. Wait, bitch, you fucking overheard that? This is embarrassing. Don't say things like that. MC's expression is off. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Bitch, it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, MC. So Monica knew him all right? That's why she didn't look too surprised when he was She's like, what a surprise. If anything, he's more surprised. He's like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing here? Aren't you, like, fucking top of this class, right? Like, in school? He's happy to see him. Were they friends already before? Yeah, 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 you too. Bitch, look at it. Where the fuck are his eyes? Bitch, motherfucker, stop seeing. Comes it down. It's a what's it called? Um, Jesus Christ. Like, what? What's the movie where it's like, uh, you can't see, right? God, what? It, what is that movie? St- well, not Stranger Things. M- let me just type a movie where you can't see. Hold on. Movie where you can't see. Uh, okay, that did not help. So, or what's it called? Um, yeah, no, it's not Stranger Things. So I don't know. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. Movie. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, but yeah, it's whatever. It's or it's like, is it Silent something? I don't know. So it's not Silent Hill, right? Yeah, no, it's not. That's that's a fucking game. We get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Or no, it's a series. I got a little too excited. Maybe I should get some tea, right? Yeah, bitch, just go do that. Well, if he doesn't. Well, bitch, that's a him problem. He doesn't need to fucking drink it. Like, let's well, just hope he does. If you know fucking four out of five people enjoy something, why would you not do it, right? You know, it's like, and how about I make some tea as well? Bitch, fucking, where'd everyone go? That's good not to me. We both walked to the back corner. The room. I went to the closet and picked the old tea. Say, I don't even remember where he got this from. It, it's just there. Does he annoy you all right? He's like, she's like, bitch, I hate him, right? Boy, he's being annoying. He barely talks. And I do is look around like an idiot. Dude, she's been, he's been here for like three minutes. Like, funny enough, he actually ends up spending the weekend with Natsuki and, like, getting with Natsuki. It's actually pretty fucking hilarious, but, you know, I guess, you know, so, some things, you know, I guess are inevitable, right? It happens in raid class, too. I, I just think it's kind of funny, right, you know? To be fair, I do think, realistically, like, like if we actually take a look at this realistically, like, he'd probably end up with Natsuki just because, you know, they literally, so solely due to the fact that they both watch anime and manga. That's literally it. Right. And obviously he's not gay with Siori because she's the old uh, childhood friend. Right. You know, the old, uh, you know, you can't fucking uh, get with them. Right. And then Yuri's just like, again, kind of out of taste. Right. But even though Natsuki treats him like dirt. Right. You know, it still happens. But obviously, you know, if this was real, it would be a lot more complicated. But like in terms of like if you look in the game and who like he would actually go with, if you assume is like, you know, personality and you, you weren't able to like choose it, probably be Natsuki. But again, it's just funny. We all, I swear to God, we always get tuped into playing fucking Nazi mods. It always happens. Every single fucking mod out there is a Nazi mod. Literally, even these ones, it always fucking happens, right? I swear to God, on God, it always fucking happens. We only need that kind of person here. He's like, she's being more aggressive than usual. Bitch, she's just fucking, you know, it's that time of month. Calm down. He's not here to bother us. He literally just showed up. So this looks like he's asking to him. Maybe he's a bit shy. That's why. Let's see who cares. I'll keep an eye on him. Okay, do that. You know, that's that's on you. She sighs him and she brings tray to the table. No more water? Bitch, no water. It's, I go get some from the fountain then. I head for the door. Bitch, we in the hallway. There should be one by stairs if I recall correctly. 
I chuckle a bit. Seems like Sayori just saw an Atsuki cupcake. She's always expressive. I'd love to be as straightforward as she is. So that's literally the scene, right? As I walk away from the club room, I hear everyone happily chatting. And we're at the stairwell. Put the cow under the faucet. It's incredibly slow fail. Bitch, wasn't this in plus? Wasn't this background in DDLC plus? I actually have no idea, but God, why won't this work? It should be, huh? Is that Monica's voice? Shouldn't she be in the call room? Bitch, no, she's not. She's like, bitch, why, why are my fucking coding skills terrible? Look around me. She's nowhere to be found. Yeah, just imagine it. Bitch, it's fucking, uh, you know, you're hallucinating. Maybe I should have eaten. Yeah, you should have actually eaten those eggs. But I am burnt those eggs. Grab the cow and I'll fold. Okay, so they were actually burnt. MC looks for me for an instant. This is embarrassing. Get some tea ring. Place down tea comes in front of everyone. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Yeah, bitch, she, he like got back. She just got back and he's already interrogating her. Don't worry. Teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Bitch, he's like, I don't read, but I still enjoy tea. It's like, why would you even say that? I guess. Maybe he doesn't really like tea. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, bitch, you, everything. Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. That's not. That was mean. I'm just trying to be nice. I mean, it, it's that it wasn't even a mean spirited comment. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, you know, fucking uh, she's just like stuck up, right? Or some shit like that. But like she's saying that as a fucking joke. So it's not even like mean spirited, right? Again, it happens later on, right? Because like you get the fucking like visions or like numerations. What's it called? You know, the fucking um, yeah, the hallucinations, right? And then, but again, that was actually like that, that's that's like a normal comment. Like, you know, it's not like she's like, oh, you know, she's uh stuck up that way she needs everything to be uh done her way right she can't you know fucking do anything without team it's like okay that's a different story right but and bitch oh i meant that you know let's see i believe you t and reen this is the dumbest line in the entire fucking game t and reen might not be a pastime for me but i at least enjoy it no the dumbest line is him saying i read a horror book once this is the second dumbest he's like t and reen may not be so it's like bitch then why are you here I sl- that at least that at least makes a similarity between us. Monka chokes and smiles at MC. So it made you consider literature club. He's like, um, he promised for a moment. He looks like he doesn't even know why he's here in the first place. He's like, bitch, I literally got dragged here. I haven't joined any clubs yet. So you always seem really happy here. So that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home, okay? The president of literature club. It's my duty to make club fun and relaxing for everyone. So we're seeing Monica this cheerful. Lance and Nancy, contrary to Monica and myself, it seems as though she's now still not wi- co- willing to kindly acknowledge his presence. He literally just got here. I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You'd probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Bitch, who would want to be that? I fucking hate myself. Weren't you a leader of the debate club? Bitch, fucking debate your way into fucking, I don't know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. But that's like kind of the nature of it, though, especially for big clubs, right? You know, that's just kind of reality. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy, make something special out of it. it encourages ours again, a large club. I am fulfilling that, fulfilling that dream. Like it really is a great leader. A giggle and not say, or indeed, Monica's been making this club welcome place for everyone. Should really thank her someday. Bitch, just anytime. I am surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Well, it's hard to advertise. Must be hard to start a new club. You put it that way. How many people are very interested in pointing out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature? If, bitch, if I saw that, because here's the thing I'd see a club like that and be like, I don't want to fucking bother, right? I, I'd, I'd be like, that's not for me. You have to work hard to convince people they are both fun and worthwhile. It makes School events like the festival, that much more important. Confident, we can all really grow, grow this club before we graduate, right? Yeah, we'll do our best. Looking forward to the cultural festival. That's separate from the, is that the actual like festival? What, are what kind of exciting activities Monica will come up with? You know it. Okay, MC looks amused. It's hard to tell if it's entertaining or if he's just nervous about being in a situation where she's not accustomed to. I take a sip of my tea. It looks like he's already done drinking his bitch. Motherfucker was like guzzling it. So we like my tea. For some reason, that makes me a tad happy. Bitch, he's like, nah, it was terrible. I, I just need the caffeine. He had a call for him. He said literature is a common pastime for him. But if he's here, he may have caused slight interest in it. I'd like to know more about him. So let me see. What kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, uh, man. He's like, bitch, Natsuki, oh, his voice is barely audible. Looks like he's really, in, isn't really interested in literature. I know someone who has that same hobby, though. That's a Natsuki. She opens her mouth. Bitch, she's like fucking fuming right now. She's like, no way. He just said that. He's most likely trying to choose whether to be hostile or friendly. Makes sense. She doesn't even have any friends that are also interested in manga. Not much of a reader, I guess. Because what's it called? Uh, Again, we know she can't share a pastime with anyone because they'll be like, oh, bitch, you read fucking manga? Like, grow up. Like, grow up. But Because it's the same thing for you. Again, right? There's more similarities between Yuri and Natsuki, right? You know, there's a lot of similarities between them two. And that's some of them, right? Where it's like they can't share their hobbies, right? Well, that can change. Let's see. That can change. Seriously willing to try reading actual literature? He's like, bitch, I'll read a book. 
Maybe we can introduce some of some of my favorite works. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Yeah, bitch, chill out. Your works are like fucking thousands of pages long. Let's see. So many things I want to say. Is it really okay? My favorite are usually novels that build deeply complex ways to worlds. Like, uh, he j- sticks to genre, right? The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Bitch, he's like, I have no idea what you just said. I'm telling a good story. It's such a foreign world is equally impressive. There's so many possibilities when writing a story. Some people write because they want to convey emotions or because they want to create their own world. In my opinion, both three and Brian are two incredibly beautiful occupations. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements they usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. He's like, oh, I read a horror book once. This is the dumbest fucking line in the entire game. Like, bro, if someone said this to me, I'd be like, damn that's crazy like i i read a fucking you know uh it'd be like oh what book was it tell me what book it was tell me the one horror book you read tell me like tell me fucking tell me it'd be like uh uh, uh. what do you say i was so absorbed what i was saying didn't even hear him. michael looks at me with a surprise expression really i wouldn't have expected that you're someone as gentle as you bitch you fucking t- shows up say that and then just leaves story makes you think or takes you into our world and can't really put it down so real horror is often very successful changing the way you look at the world for only for a brief moment I hit horror. Damn, that's crazy. No one asked. Oh, why is that? Yeah, it's like, bitch, who asked? I don't remember. I know her well. This is the first time I see her act this way. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Leave. Get off my screen. Don't don't even fucking use aggressive quiet now bears. It's weird. Get off my screen. Never mind. Yeah, leave. Bye. See you. That's right. Usually she's worried about cute things. Bitch gets flamed. Immediately flamed. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Look like you're working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Yeah, get off my screen. Yeah, I never got to finish my conversation. Could everyone fucking sabotage it? Maybe this talk was boring for him. Your cupcakes, your poem, everything you do is just cues you out. She settles up behind Oski and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Damn, that's crazy. He's too a child. Bitch, she's like, these uh, childish, you know, individuals, right? You know, like beneath me. That makes it even more interesting. I love to spend time, eventually spend time with Sarah. Bitch, that happens during the weekend. We look forward to that. That was one of my favorite parts of the mod. Spending the time with Sayori during the weekend. Maybe she could teach me. I'll be more outgoing. After all, she's MC's friend. So she must know I'd be interesting. Now ask you, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. I'm not see a seemingly confident stature. I can see that she's afraid of people's opinions. Yeah, bitch, yeah. The, and then at the inside, she's weak. She just want MC to judge her. Why? How did she make clear she ate him? Bitch, because she's, I don't know, fucking weird. So many questions I can ask right now. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident, right? Yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing a lot level of writing takes more than just confidence. True sworn is writing is writing to oneself. So you must be willing to open up to your reasons, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Bitch, motherfuckers, or the people who are like, I have no heart, or I like, I have no soul, or something. They just like write whatever out and they just pump it, right? One of the valuable lessons I've learned in writing such is that it's important to write for oneself. Everyone share my writing with others either. One of the reasons to mean them uneasy around my classmates, and our reason to be that I'm scared of what they'll think. It's probably what Nazi is feeling right now. Do you have any experience too, Yuri? Good question. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nazi feel comfortable enough to share hers. Maybe I said too much. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when did this become about me? I really want to share my work, but what if MC doesn't like it? I don't want to sound full of myself. What am I supposed to do? It's the same for Yuri. I want to read everyone's poems. Bitch, everyone get off my screen. She, is she concerned about writing poems? Now I think about it. I've never seen her write. No kinds of poems she's written before. There's an awkward silence in the room. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. What? I know that tone. Mike is probably coming up with a great bitch. The good idea fairy hit. Bitch, 100%, right? Because I had to find off. I talked about this in, you know, many of my videos, right? Like, again, like, because what's it called? The whole point is that, you know, and I feel like Longer Rose does a really good job touching on this, right, with Mike's job, where, again, she deals with, you know, the pressures you know, I guess she deals with being a perfectionist, right? And the pressure and, you know, sort of expectation, you know, of you being like perfect, right? In the eyes of like, you know, I guess those quote unquote beneath you. But when in reality, she just wants to be true, like a normal person, not this like some like fucking like, you know, valedictorian status, like person, right? And something to wear again, because that in, because you'd think those types of people, right? Would be the best leaders and the best like leaders of a club. But again, it leads Again, because the biggest thing, right, that happens is at least, like, disconnect. Like, again, she doesn't – that's why I talked about, right, you know, everyone thinks she's a great leader, but in, in reality, right, she doesn't understand her club members. That's the issue there, right, again, because she focuses so much on maintaining that appearance, maintaining that – uh, what's it called, you know, status, right, upholding that status that, again, she doesn't spend the time to get to know her club or actually, like, know her really – I don't want to say not care, but more so, like, actually know them. So it – 
again, not knowing, you know, your own club members, right? You know, you kind of need to know them in order to like, you know, make decisions for them, right? You know, especially get their input, but it's something where at least he'll have like an, a lot of idealism, a lot of like good idea fairy type things, right? Which is again, what's going on here, right? So like great idea, more like good idea fairy, right? But let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them all with each other. That way everyone's even, what? I was expecting anything about this. She's like, please God, no. I can't share a poems just like that. Look at Natsuki, bitch, just like plagiarize. She makes you more stressed than before. Um, that's an embarrassing situation. Yeah, let's do it. Damn, see, or yeah, I even see your enthusiasm. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen off the club. Isn't that right? She happily smiles at him. He's like, bitch, I've never written before. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Bitch, he's a, he's like, I've literally never written anything before. Never said I joined this club. So you may convince me to stop by. I never made any decision. Still have our clubs to look at. It. He's like, you, you know, MC, okay, like the MC, you don't fucking say that, right? It's like he he kind of knew as soon as he stepped in, he was locked in, right? He wasn't just gonna be like, thanks for the cupcakes, uh, see ya, right? He he should have known, you know, this is a very naive on his part, right? Very uh, what's it called? I guess hopeful, right? But I see. Why did I get my hopes up anyway? Doesn't really matter. I just thought he'd be an interesting person. But 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 I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Let's see, MC. You all, even Natsuki, is disappointed. I have trouble understanding him. Why would he even come here if he doesn't want to join? Yeah, bitch, because he got dragged here. It's making me think way too much. Right. Okay, I have a side then. I'll join the other club. Yeah, it's like, bitch, they got your ass now. You're locked here. Thank God. Yeah, I'm happy. She wraps her arms around MC. Seeing this, heard this site is so heartwarming. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for us just for a cupcake, I'd be super pissed. Okay, what'd you do about what would you do about Natsuki? Tell me. What would you do? Right? Nothing. That makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Smile at MC. It looks a little embarrassed, but I still feel like he's getting used to us. I hope I'll be able to share my interest with him. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on Good Note. Everyone remember tonight's assignments. Right, Paul, I'm going to bring the next meeting so we can all share. She intensely stares at the MC. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Let's see. Yeah. He's like, he doesn't really seem too thrilled. He's like, I've literally never written before, even though we have to write poems. Although I'm not looking forward to seeing what he comes up with for the poems we have to write. Certain his writing is good. Saying the positive or bitch, he, he has that fucking or he's like, he has that vibe to him, right? Motherfuckers really act like this. Cause here's the thing. Obviously this is cause of the game and you know, you know, just how it, that's the way it is, right? And how it needs to be. Mm. But motherfuckers like really act like this in real life. Like people, I know people who are like this, like, oh, I don't fuck with him. You know, we're not on the same wavelength. We don't have the same vibe. And I'm like, why, why are you well, like, why are you telling me this? Like, what are you even talking about? Like, like, cause granted, you know, I kind of feel this way about people too, but I don't let it like influence. I'm not going to be like, Oh, I'm not, I don't spend time with this person. Cause I don't like, I don't vibe with him. His vibes are off. Like, you know, but like, I know people in real life who act like that. It's like, Oh, you know, his, his vibes. Right. And it's like, what are you talking about? Like, there's no way you're that like, like just literally like talk to them, like get to know them. Right. And then if they're an asshole, then, you know, you don't fucking hang out with them. Right. Don't be like, Oh, they, their vibes are off. This is right here. You want to walk home together? Sure. Might as well. Yay. Good for you too. <clears throat> the two of them head to the door. Waving us is the exit. It's just me, Maka and Natsuki now. Maka sighs and looks at me. Well, that was stressful. Wasn't it? I feel like he'd make a great member. Bitch. She's like, I'm fucking sweating. Humph. Don't you see how he's acting? I swear to God, shut up. Don't say anything. He doesn't even like literature. I'll tell you something's off with him. Come on, Natsuki. It didn't seem like you hated him that much towards the end. Yeah, bitch, she's like, she called her out. He's like, you weren't saying that near the end. Oh, oh I clicked the wrong button. I, I saw the look on my face when he talked about manga. Uh, he doesn't really look like a bad person, in my opinion. Well, he didn't take all that much, but like, so you have fun talking to him here. Oh, um, uh, 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 it's true that our talk was enjoyable. I really talked to boys as embarrassing as it was. It wasn't a bad experience. Because here's the thing, right? This is, I hate to say, you know, this is the kind of the reality of it, right? You know, this is like, the nature of it right the reality because like here's the thing right if we're going based off assumptions right you know but you know being entirely honest right keeping it real you know most of the population is uh cisgender and straight right you know that's just the reality of it right so it's not even like the norm because like the norm implies that you know it's not just an actual phenomena right so norm implies that you know it's a construct you know that's just the reality of it that most people are cisgender and straight right you know that's just how it is right you know that's how you keep a population going right you know actually like producing like offspring right you know that's that's just the reality right so again that's kind of what shapes these like interactions so if you're like 
if you always have, if you have like, again, because you'll think about most of your friends are your gender, right? That's not by mistake, right? That's not by accident. Because any friends you have, like, if you know, like the opposite gender, you know, this is inevitably what it comes down to, right? It'll always be a thought, right? You know, that's just reality, right? Like, even like if you're like a Sayori MC situation, you know, it'll always be a thought, you know? It'll always be, even if they're just friends, right? You know, it's always an idea right you know that's always the thoughts always lurking right because you don't think about oh you know what if i go with the homies right you know you're thinking about like oh you know i have this like you know friend who just so i'm not not girlfriend friend who's a girl right it's like oh you know what's uh, is this like you know what's it called right what if what if this is what it comes down to right that's, that's always a thought right and that's just reality right that's like uh shoot what's it called that's why it's like what's it called you'll have like I guess like the feminine boys who like hang out with girls. Right. But they also might be gay, but you have a lot of like tomboys, like girls who hang out with like boys. Right. Again, like they funny enough, it doesn't, they, they're not even necessarily like lesbian, like butch or whatever, like you use to describe that. Right. Not like a bear bears for the male uh, version, but it's something where it's like, that's why it's like, it, it's funny when, you know, cause I, I have some, had some friends who are girls and they, they think like, like they think like oh you know they're just it's like oh it's just because not even for me but for like other people in like our friend group like they'd be like oh you know they're just uh friends right you know nothing more right they never think about you know what's it called like taking a step further it's like bitch i they might not think about right but it's always lurking it's always a possibility it's always an idea it's just there right that's just the nature of it that's why it's like again you know you almost like it's definitely a thing right like you because and especially like you almost always have friends who are all the same gender that's just reality because you don't think about that right versus people of the opposite gender where it's like that's always a thought always lurking right always a possibility but that's why it's like saying like because people will be like oh what do you mean you rarely talk to boys right you know he's he's not a boy he's you know one of us right he's one of the like girls right or like one of the homies if it's a girl right but something where it's like not exactly right i feel like that's very like idealist but at least that's what i've noticed right you know in my experience take it for what you will right i think he has an enjoyable personality bitch they corrupt you motherfucker what how can you like such a, a, a bean sprout a what just forget it anyway so you were an mc maybe gone we so a few things dude she's like okay you guys got stuck on a you know paper duty right so mark points to the table and d the cupcake tray is still dirty and the tea set's still there yeah, and you do that and then uh, clean up and then go home. I'll take care of the tea set. Natsuki, can you put the tray away? Sure. Okay, what's Mark is doing then? Well, it seems like he enjoyed the tea. Bitch, she starts like fucking like licking it. I gather all the teacups and put them on the tray. I'll have to clean them. Oh, hey, Yuri, I have to clean the tray. Why don't we add a fountain together? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Bitch, are we? Mark is seeing at desk reading a book. It's like a book on coding. So she doesn't really have anything else to do. We'll be right back, Monica. No answer. Book she's reading must be quite captivating. Bitch, pe the people who just read and like ignore like that, that's not a thing. Let's just go. It won't take long. Asuki opens the door and blissfully heads over to the staircase. Okay, good for them, right? Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's head out as well. So back to the staircase, right? Was there ever found out whose voice I heard earlier? 100% Monica. She was just like, damn, why is my coding failing? Right, why do I suck at coding? I want to ask Monica, but that'd be too awkward. There's no need to worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. It's not a big deal. Good cups and clean them one by one. It's sense Asuki looking at me. Don't we drop a cup at some point? Well, oh, looking behind me, I start talking. No, she's listening. Is everything all right, Natsuki? Of course, it's just irritates me see, to see that you like such a, wait, what do you mean by like? You what? Don't tell me. No, not, what the fuck are you guys? Yeah, let's see, hold on. So it just irritates me that you like, wait, what do you mean by like? You, yeah, she's like, what? He's like, she's like, wait a minute. What are you saying? This isn't God, Nasi. Don't imagine things. I mean, you like whoever you want, but that guy, just forget him. He really enjoys company. It's his first day here. It's like, you can be friendly to the newcomers. You don't need to fucking haze them. And put the clean cups back on the tray. Well, yeah. See you what you is tomorrow. Maybe it won't be that bad for writer. It's like, yeah, who knows? Bitch, it's gonna be like toy words. And she's like, this is a masterpiece, right? I've always been hard for her to admit that kind of thing. Bitch, what happened? Seems like I tripped over something. I was absorbing my thoughts and kind of ask you guys my arms and helps me back up. God, Yuri, don't scare me like that. You're all right. Did you hurt yourself? I looked down my hand. There's a huge red cut on my index finger. One of the shards now broken cuts my sight. That she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go. Starts fucking like licking it. A few drops of blood fall on the floor, making funny little patterns. Blood red is a beautiful color. She's like, bitch, we, we, uh, we, I know what we're doing when we're getting back home. Yuri, are you listening to me? I'm sorry, what are you saying? Don't stand there on your finger. You need to disinfect that immediately. It's just low key though, saliva, saliva and duct tape. Those two are actually like really good things that actually help. It's fucking like janky as fuck, right? You know, it's a very like, you know, a DIY solution, but they actually work. Like, so people who are being like, oh, you need to disinfect it. Oh, you need to fucking do all this, is that, right? Just, it's a cut, right? 
you know, unless you get like fucking like AIDS or something, like, unless you're like, if you're like, you know, doing some shit with the cut, right. You know, but if it's just exposed to air, cause you, you need to let it clot anyway. So it's like, what would you do without me? Just follow me. What about the tea set? You're always worrying about the wrong stuff. I was going to take care of you. Yeah, bitch, she can worry about it. What's she doing staying in the classroom? She acts much differently. She's not around our people. Glance my finger again. I did cut myself pretty deep. I should have been more careful. Soon enough, you're not see right back. I was going to come take care of your mess. Let's go to infirmary and disinfect your poor little finger. This isn't necessary. No, what if it gets infected? Don't even think about it. Here. Bitch, amputate. You don't need a finger. Guess which finger is it? If, if it's pinky finger, just chop off, right? You know, you can go with your first four. Get to the stairs to the first floor. Bitch, this hallway. That's custom music again. Good, good that this is back, right? I didn't really like the days because it's literally just a replay through just through someone else's POV. It's literally the exact same thing. But basically, all the interactions outside of the normal school day, I enjoyed, right? In this one. And then we get the custom music, custom backgrounds. Must look kind of ridiculous, considering the height difference. She doesn't seem to care. Yeah, bitch, who fucking cares? You know, I'm smiling. Now she's a great friend, that's for sure. Suddenly, she looks behind her straight at me. What are you smiling for? You're supposed to be agonizing over poor little finger. Bitch, like, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. Come on, don't tease me, Nasuki. You're the one who's being excessively dramatic over it. But you're the one who tripped, dummy. Both laugh. It always ends up this way when we're together. Nasuki's fine girl. She just has trouble showing to some people. Hey, now, don't think I, that I forgot about your deadly wound. Let's get going. It's like, bitch, you're going to die if you don't fucking... Oh, I missed that line. And then this is... We saw this in uh, Longer Roads, I'm pretty sure. Like, after, like, the MC, like, fucking died or some shit, right? Like, I'm pretty... In Maka's job. That, that was, shit was hilarious, though, low-key. He, like, fucking died, and we had, like, a fucking interaction from the afterlife. It was funny as fuck. But we also saw this in... um. Didn't we just see this in fucking... Uh, what's it called? I'm pretty sure we saw this in Encore at some point, right? Generally scared of hospitals and such. Not scared of student paste pantry. Grab some disinfectant along with adhesive bandages. She gently takes my hand, sprays some disinfectant. Natsuki? Hmm? How come you're so worried over the little cut? Ah, uh, because this is my friend. Because we know she takes care of, her, care of hers all the time. You know, do you think I'd like to see my friends getting hurt? We're talking about a little cut, you know. I was going to die. Of course I know that. These are friends, but I do need to take care of you. Well, then thank you, Natsu. God, I already told you not to call me Natsuki. Bitch, how many fucking nicknames do she have? My full name is good enough. Natsu. You're literally not. You're literally not even because here's the thing, right? You can either say it Natsuki or Natsuki, right? I just go Natsuki, right? Uh, but it, if you say Natsu, it's still two syllables. So just say Natsuki, right? You know, you're like Natsuki or whatever, right? Natsuki's just uh better, right? So again, something to where it's like you like Nat, okay, that's one syllable, right? So Natsu's more prophetic, reminds me of summer. Bitch, what? I don't know, it just does. What does that even mean if you insist? Natsuki puts the band to my finger and size. Be more careful next time. I will. Don't worry. Thanks for the help. You owe me one now. I don't think I'll be of any use to you. No. Who knows? Who knows? I'll strike when you least expect it. Bitch, she's like in her home. Honestly, that's almost the door of the infirmary. We quickly watch her staircase. Monica must be waiting for us. Glance at the fountain. Seems like Monica cleaned everything up. I'll have to thank her for cleaning my mess. Bitch, Monica walks out like fucking snaps her fingers and it's gone. Don't trip again. Trips. You really should stop getting lost in your thoughts. It's not my fault, you know. I'm always thinking about something. I know what I mean. It's pretty obvious. But one day you might hurt yourself pretty bad if you're not careful. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Who did I not think about anything? There have been so many good things happening lately. MC's arrival, my mother coming back home. I'm truly thankful. I'm going to club door and step in. Sure, took your time, girls. Not to even explain what happened. I stripped in the corridor and sliced my finger, but Natsuki wanted to disinfect it. So, saved her life, basically. Monica laughs with Natsuki. Why, thank you, Natsuki. What a dangerous situation I was in. You too, I swear. Anyway, since still really want we hang out together. We go have a walk near a park, don't you think? It's been a while since we spent time together outside of school. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end it here. Honestly, I thought, you know, we're just going to go home, right? And then end the day. I forgot, you know, this actually happens and we do continue spending time. It's been about an hour, so I'm just going to end this and say this for next time. But yeah, you know, it's been good thus far, right? You know, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Even, like, the, the actual school, like, you know, Act 1 itself isn't too bad because it's through a different POV, so there's some difference. But I mostly enjoy the actions outside of this, so interactions. So this is going to be nice when we get to it. But anyway. That's all I've got for that. We'll save this for our next one. So that's all I've got for this one. So yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.